How you doing? How you doing, everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for coming on, Norman, as well. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Uh, good man. Let me just check that everyone can hear us. Can you let me know if you can hear me, please, everyone, and see us? Yeah. How you been doing, Norman? Uh, great, mate. Yeah, yeah. I was working last night. On the doors. Got, yeah, on the doors. Still doing the doors. Yeah. Yeah. I love it there. I'm, I'm, I'm there for the public. Yeah. <laughs> public friend number one, not public enemy. I'm there to look after the public. Well, you've been doing the door for 48 years, well, nearly 50 years now, 50 haven't you? Years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, bear, bear with me, Norm. Hold oh, on, let me just check. Yeah, all clear. <clears throat> yeah. Stay there a minute, mate, and we'll just wait till a couple more people jump on. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Wayne, <clears throat> oh, I've got to give a shout out to Wayne Hamilton, the Jughead, and Ben from the Inquirer. My apologies, I missed out on your um, uh, super chat last time. So thank you for that, everyone there, yeah? Emma Bulma, how you doing? Sean? Sean? Sean's got a good channel as well, everyone. Sean at the top there, Mr. Sean. He's got a really good YouTube channel. Brian, how you doing? Stuart Nicholson, hello, mate. We'll wait for a few more, Norman, then we'll start. I'll drink my tea. Yeah, yeah. I've got, I've, got my, I've got my my big cup here. Do you see Ricky Grover talking about that. <laughs> Ricky didn't he take those body punches well, didn't he? He's like you. And I know he, what he, you're like, Matt. You, if he says hit you hard, you will hit him hard. No. The last three, how he stood up to them, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I quite like envy you. him, like you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, no, he just he's it has got to be concrete his belly like he's just if it was like anyone you. else they would have gone out and they were hard punches I could yeah. hear the punches yeah. cracking him yeah. and I felt sorry for him when he said hit me as hard because I know what you're like you <laughs> I used to try and teach you to throw speed first and power after yeah. but you used to throw power first and speed after yeah you know what I mean you, you I think you've read the Lenny McLean's book and you used to throw. Oh, and you tell him to transfer you. Okay. She, he said. She said, "Do you want to transfer onto the laptop?" The laptop. No, it's up to you. I, I, I don't know how yeah. you do that. Oh, oh, so right, so, oh, right. Yeah, you can do it with that. Are you, you there? Um, I'm going to just do what I'm going to do. Everyone, everyone watching, I'm going to take some questions in that for Norman because a can lot of people it? got questions. Uh, and for me, if you want to ask me anything. <laughs> That's it. I'll transfer you over, yeah? That's that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got 40 on. So, yeah, I was wanted to say, Norman, how I first came across you, and this is to everyone listening. When I was about 13 or 14 years old in Milton Keynes, I was in the gym, and a couple of doormen said to me, that's Norman Buckland over there. And I looked over, and they said, he's, the, he's one of the hardest men in England only a handful of people could fight him. And they, and they mentioned Lenny McLean. So that was the first time I ever heard of you and Lenny at the same time. And ever since then, I was fascinated with Norman and Lenny and Cliff Fields, Roy, Build a Bomb. And then I got to know Norman from the age of 14. Do you remember me when I was a teenager, Norman? You might I not. can you remember doing the, the hell machine. And I used to gene you, you, you kids up like, because uh, when there was a great, can you remember the big, Dumbbells, massive dumbbells. Yeah, there's been dumbbells in the in the gym we used to train at. Yeah, and I said, to "You kids, can you pick them up? <laughs> they <laughs> yeah. must have weighed over a hundred kilos." Like they and were massive. They were so big. I said, "I'm only joking." Yeah, yeah. You no, know, I used to have fun with you. I love the youngsters. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. You, you know what I mean. And anything I could help them with, or or or, or you know what I mean. Make them laugh or be funny with them. No, I, I did. I can yeah. remember you as a kid. You was a lovely kid. You was in there all the time trying with Jonathan. With John Ellis, yeah. Shout John out Ellis, to John as well. Yeah. Hey? Shout out to Jonathan yeah, shout as well. Out to John. Yeah, good lad. How did he get on with his heart? His, his heart. Yeah, he's had a heart operation. He's had his all that done and he's resting, he recovering. Now, yeah? He's a lot better than he was. Can I just give a shout out to some people? Ted, how you doing? Uh, Paul Smith. Paul Smith's asking you, Norman. Did you ever meet Build a Bomb? Build a Bomb, no, I, I might have done, but I've seen him sparring with Lenny, and he seemed a little bit sharper and more dangerous than Lenny. No, I don't think I, he sparred you know with I mean? Lenny. I don't think eh? he sparred Lenny, Bill. I'm pretty sure I've seen him spar with Build a Bomb. Wasn't that Lenny's cousin? 
No, that's Johnny. I know who you mean. That's Johnny Boot knows Wall. That's Johnny Wall, yeah. Johnny yeah. Wall, I've seen that's him. Johnny Wall. Um, but um, you never I, met you, you did see... Sorry, go on. Sorry, mate. Go on. Go on. I did... talk too much. Let you, you, did talk, meet... sir. You, you never met Bill the Bomb, but you, you did see Lenny once, didn't you? I've seen Lenny a few times. Yeah, he looked very intimidating. He looked the part. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Big fella, like, you know what I mean? No disrespect to him. He's dead now. He's got family. I'd never say a bad word against him. I mean, if someone's alive or they're dead, I still love them. I ain't got nothing yeah. against no one. I just like keeping the peace and saying beautiful things about people. Yeah, you've always had that nature. You've never been a bully. You've always looked after people. and Sense of humour. You know, like Ricky Grover said the other day, yeah. he loves all these hard men because they've all got these nutty, funny characters. Exactly like you have as well. I'm, I'm, I'm like Ricky. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. Do you I like I Ricky. He's, he's a lovely fella. Like. Yeah. And I, I know he's suffered. Like, I mean, I've never been able to read. I'm not a good, I'm not educated. Like, you know what I mean? And it's, it's difficult through life. Yeah. And he's put himself out there to better himself and he's made yeah. it. He's Not he, as far as I'm concerned, right? Jesus, those body shots. I don't know how he took them. He's that would have knocked, knocked a donkey out. You know what? He's, he, Ricky's 61 and he as well. He's that well as well. He's 61 as well, Norman. He's 61 years I old. I like the way he, somehow he, he just jumped in the air about yeah. three. <laughs> yeah, he's brilliant. Let me give he, a shout out here to Dave Gunn as well. My mate Dave Gunn's in the Dave chat. Dave Gunn, love you, Dave mate. Dave Gunn, legend from up, up in Nottingham. How you doing, Dave? Catch up soon, mate. There's some hard boys up north and up Wells and over Ireland. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't all come from London. No. They're all, you know what I mean? All spread across Britain like. Some tough boys. Lovely boys. Yeah. Good doormen as well. Talking about up north, uh, Brokeback Bull Whitaker has asked, has Norman heard of Ernie Buick? I, 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 I've got to apologise. I'm so bad with names. Yeah. I'm better with faces like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and even some of my friends have had the ump with me in the past where I've forgotten their name. Like, so Ernie, Ernie say, Buick, he's a top, he's the top man out in Sunderland, wasn't he? One of the top fighters up north. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, and, I've um, heard of him. Yeah, legendary fighter. He's a gentleman as well. Uh, my mate, not, ben, I mean, when I was with Spartan, I used to go out the a lot of the boxing dudes. I used to go out with them all the time. I love Spartan, yeah. like you know what I mean. Yeah, and I used to meet a lot of people, but um. I'm just bad with names, numbers, yeah. and little, you know what I mean. Yeah. But I love everyone, and and uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyone I've ever missed out, like I'm sorry, like you know what yeah. I mean. I and I hey, listen, if I don't know you now, I'll I'll, I'll happily meet you, yeah. like, and <laughs> I'll get to know you, like. I love yeah. everyone. I tell you, I tell you, I spoke to this morning on the phone, Richie Horsley. So shout out to Richie as well, Richie. Uh, yeah, Richie got in touch. Richie's another well-known fighter respected legend from up north as well. Hopefully, if he doesn't want to talk a lot on these things because he's done so many, but hopefully I'll get him on for a chat. So, yeah, you shout out to Richie. You bring the best out of people, Matt. Yeah, you thank you, You bring the best out of people. You've got a lovely character about you. You've been there. You've been in with the best. Like, I mean, I can remember you going in, come out to spa with you, and you was crippled. You had your fucking... Yeah. And you wanted to spa with me, and I'll give you a body shot. My back. That's the only time I've got the better of you, I think. My, my back ah, was broken. He's going. Yeah, my and back I, was broken. I, I can't remember if it, if, if, if it was AJ you was fighting or James Tony, but yeah. you still got in the ring with them. You was crippled. Yeah, I had a, ba I had a bad back in the cut. Unbelievable. Like, like, James Tony's never been knocked out. Yeah. I'm not knocking Tyson. I love Tyson. In his day, he was the greatest ever. Like, But yeah. he didn't even want to fight James Tony. Yeah. And Tyson even threatened to shoot James Tony. No, James Tony threatened to shoot Tyson if he didn't fight him. Yeah. And these are the boys you was getting in the ring yeah. with. Well, AJ, all... when yeah. you fought him, he had a real no, he was knocking everyone out. He was untouchable. And that round, one of you was going down, and I yeah. thought he was going down, like, you know yeah. what I mean? You, he, what well, you've well, done is incredible, mate. No, it's all thanks to you, mate. I always Give you the credit for starting me off in boxing. For anyone that doesn't Not know, only credit to human race, you're a credit to everyone. Like. Thank you, mate. Same I as trust you. you and love you. You're the most honest person I've ever come up across. You always tell the truth, like you've gone yeah. through your career and knocked nearly everyone out, like. I mean, you. 
I've sparred with you, like, and I didn't know what happened. I, I was up there hitting you one minute, and I was on the floor the next minute. I was confused. <laughs> I've had broken jaws. I've been beaten yeah. after death, and I've yeah. carried on fighting. And I didn't know until I got out. I didn't want to carry on. I said to my boy, Brandon Buster was there. Brandon Buster Butler. I said, you get in and spar with him. Yeah, I remember. It's the first time I've had the fight knocked out of me. Yeah. And to I be didn't fair, know what it was. And that's the same, isn't it? You yeah. had the fight knocked out of you. But Norman, to be fair, when we did that, I was a professional heavyweight and you were probably early 40s, mid 40s when, when that happened. So you, it wasn't as if it was in our prime. Well, I've got to say, I've got to say, Norman, it's, it's all... It's all thanks to you, though, that I got into boxing. So without your uh, encouragement when we were in prison together, I would never have considered boxing because I wanted to be a street fighter. So I give you the credit oh, for wish. definitely getting me into it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, you know what I mean? The, I mean, bless the likes of the great street fighters like Lenny. No disrespect. I love him the pieces. Like, he's the toughest bloke and he's dead now. So yeah. I, I'd never disrespect yeah. him. Legendary but fighter. I'll be honest, your ability in prison... <laughs> Could have beaten the likes of me and Lenny McLean. Nah, well, well, we'll, ne- no, we'll never listen, know. Listen, listen, that, that, that's, that's, all, that's all I'm saying, mate. But thank you. You mate. was something else. You was eighteen stone of muscle, mate. Yeah, I, I was, was big for a youngster. I, I used to tell you to punch me in the chest. I didn't know until years later. I'm, I'm going to blame you for this now. I'm going to have to tell you the truth that the punishment you was giving me in the stomach was internal. I used to tell you to hit me in the solar. Remember, it hit me in the solar plex and break yeah. my spine. Yeah. And you used to stand there and hit me. Yeah. My solar plex is inside out now. I've never heard of that well, before. Well, yeah, you're I'm t- not going you, to have an operation. I've got to say one thing. This is what made you such a good fighter. You've got an, an amazing ability to take pain. Now, do yeah. you think that came from where your grandma used to hit you with that stick and that? Or you've just yeah, got a natural I, pain? I, she couldn't help it, mate. I didn't know. Some people's... Nerves in their brain that wired up wrong, like you know what I mean. I have something called scoptopic sensitivity, like you know what I mean. Uh, uh, um, uh, um, numbers you can, you say- can give me your phone number now 20 times, and I've yeah. had one letter out, like you yeah. know what I mean. And I uh-huh. hate myself for it because my brain would play games with me, like, and I couldn't work it out. It's some sort of dyslexic. Scott, you've, you've, some you've sort definitely of got a thing where you can't, you don't feel pain like other people, haven't you? There, there's something there, mate. I mean, now I do. I'm an older man, like, but I don't get depressed like I used to do. Yeah. I'm happily in love. I mean, yeah. if I've had to go suffer in my life again, like I have, to meet up with my wife, do you know my my parents are dead, like, and I'm sure they set me up with my missus, yeah. like, you know what yeah. I mean? I love her to pieces. Yeah, she's lovely. But when I used to go to, I mean, my granny used to beat me senseless after death with a walking stick. Yeah. But I loved her to pieces. Yeah. I loved her. And when I used to come back to England, you never felt used to come back to England. She used to cry her eyes out and ask me to go back to Spain. But she, they, they, my dad sent me over there. I was a mama's boy to toughen me up, like. Yeah. And the Spanish boys toughened me up. There was hard to, when 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 I was over with Spain with my brother. Like, I used to fight my battles. When I was by myself, I used to walk to school with my little sandwich box. And they, it's in every country. I love the Spanish. No disrespect to Spanish. My heart goes out. I love Spain. There's yeah. a little bit of uh, racism, like you know what I mean. I had white hair and I was as white as a ghost, like you know what I mean. <laughs> And some of the Spanish, like, you know what I mean? English, but English, like. And it was rare in the you to have an English boy at that age, yeah. like, going to school. And I had to get fight myself through the crowd to get to school, like. And and when I started getting the ump with them and fighting them back is when they started kicking the sandwiches out of my fucking hand. I thought, you know what I mean? You can beat me up and leave my sandwiches alone. <laughs> and but the point is, I made best of friends with them, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. The kids in my classroom, when we was much younger... But they even the girls would go out and stick up for me in front of these like these teenagers, like you know what I mean? Yeah. And I found I, I I found some love in Spain, like, and my friends I made over there, like I, I'm still go over there and see them yeah. now and again. I've still got yeah. the friends. So I've had a horrible upbringing, but I still love everyone, like Yeah, you know you've I mean? got a good you've always had a good heart. A uh, good before, heart, mate. Before we carry on, mate, I'm just gonna do, give some shout outs and do some questions. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I'll drink so, let, so let me have a look at back up here a minute. So someone's asked, uh, 
Who was your hardest fight? I, I saw that a second ago. Who was your hardest fight? I think that was the Billy McPhee one. So, yeah, do you want to talk about that No, one? mate, no, no. That was you. Uh, I'm going to be honest, like, you know what I mean? I, I didn't want you in the fight game. I didn't want you as a bare-knuckle fighter. I want you the boxer. That's where you belong. Even the last time you worked with me on the door, and now my boss wants you to work for us, like, you know what I mean? He's a good boss. He pays good money, like, when the time's right, come and work with us. I love Milton Kings. If they offer me a job in Milton Kings, a lovely little number, like, I'd love yeah. to work there with you. I love Milton Kings. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't even built when I was a kid, like. No. Matt Fee was, yeah, but... Matt Fee was the only fight. He didn't have nothing fight. like you did, like, you know what I mean? He, I could only say him because he was a name, like, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't even know if they're like... I've, I've asked to get in contact with Alex McPhee and Billy McPhee, like, they've never... No one's got back to me, so... They're probably dead now, bless them. I mean, right. in that I fight, mean, he was biting you, poking your eyes, and you had to you had to dislocate his neck. Mate, the toughest bloke I've ever had a street fight yeah. is you. You punched me in the side of my, <laughs> my solar plexus inside there. Look at it. Do you, do, do you remember when we had that? Do you remember when me and you had a fight in the car when and when we were coming well, back? Yeah, to yeah. yeah. Uh, no, you I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what that's Dave's fault. You hit me in the face with a ring and I punched you. That Dave's for a little while. I yeah. went in this and ate some of his apple apple pie. I didn't drink or take drugs or anything. He fucking, he was drugged up, wasn't it? The apple pie. And when <laughs> I was coming back, I thought I was in a spaceship. Yeah. And I thought I'd been kidnapped by the driver. Remember the driver? Mark. And that's why I Mark jumped to the driver and growled for you. Kid. And the car yeah. was about 100 miles an hour all over yeah. the road. And you'd get off him, no, get off. I, I turned around. Me. Yeah. I turned around and punched you in the face from the front seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you. I, 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 I remember going back, like, the fucking force of your punch, like. Right? And yeah. then I thought, like, the spaceship was fucking crash landing. I put the belt on. I'm like, yeah. crash landing. Yeah. Danger, danger. Dr. Zachary's fish. <laughs> mayday, mayday. I was off my nut, wasn't I? Yeah. David yeah. had something in the apple pie. I don't know what it was. Now, as soon as we finished hitting each other, we just sat back in the chair in the car and carried on the journey. Yeah, Do you remember? I love you too. I'm going to ask a few more questions, mate. Let me give a shout out. So Roy from Newport. Thank you, mate. Paul Smith. Hello, mate. Bob Matthews. Hi, mate. Stuart Nicholson. Bucket of tea. Yeah. This is the famous cup from the other day with Ricky. Um, Fury's running away from Usyk. Mark Culver, how you doing? Purple Aki's on Norman as well. <laughs> purple, all right, Purple. Monkey Monkey, how you doing? Um, <laughs> could Norman beat Purple Aki? Uh, we, we've never seen him fight. Uh, Kevin, Kevin Brogan, good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, mate. Grab hold of these guns, Purple. Uh, hey. Chatina Shaw's on. Roy's daughter, Chatina's on. Hi, Chatina. I love Tina. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, Bola, I loved Emma your Bola. dad as well, mate. And I was I was there towards the end, like, he was getting abuse of someone, like, and I, I told her, I, I wanted, I, I phoned up the boys up in London and said, get me a fight with him, like. I can't name him because they told me to leave him alone, like, because he'd be gone in no time. And I would have liked to rough him up and left it like that. But yeah, he ended, ended up disappearing altogether, like. Yeah. But, I, you know what I mean? Tina and her brother and her family, I love you all to pieces. Yes, I wish I could have helped them more towards the end, like. Yeah. But it was difficult, like, you know what I mean? Roy, Roy there, was there more was of a lovely, few, wasn't it? The, the family was great, but there was a few ponces around at the time, like, you yeah. know what I mean? And Taking they did advantage. Of, and I would I would have wish I knew Tina and the son a little bit more and I could yeah. have helped a little bit more. Yeah. But bless him, I I I, I love the old man. I yeah. love Tina to pieces, like yeah, Tina's beautiful. lovely. Shout out to Tina. I've got Tina, two I love you, Tina. <laughs> uh, Craig, Craig Barker, Benjamin, how you doing? Uh, MW. So we, we've got some questions as well, mate. Uh, Ted Ted Duggan, how you doing, mate? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we've done the Build a Bomb. Yes, yeah, so, uh, Emma, new, Emma new Ernie. I'd love to meet Ernie Buick. I know he's very quiet. I'd um, love to come out with you, uh, Matt. I'd love to meet these people with you personally. Yeah. Well, Ricky Grover wants to see you next time he comes up. We're all going to get together. Me, you, Ricky. Oh, I love Ricky. Katie's he on there. My Mrs. Katie's on there. He reminds me of me. We were stocking he on. He is. <laughs> Paul Smith. Thank you, mate. Stuart when Bunch. I, when I become yeah. the governor, I wanted to be like Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> Buller. Obviously, uh, obviously, Roy Short, 
he he I, I love Roy. He, he, yeah. he didn't come over as a he wasn't a bully like he was he was just Roy like and that was it like the governor like you know what I mean? Yeah. Legend. You know, he, he, if he looked at you like, he, you know what I mean? He, he had, he could scare the life out of a ghost, like the yeah. same with Lenny Payne, like you know what I mean? Um, we're going to have a question from Stuart. Can you ask Norman who he thinks will win out of Fury and Usyk, please? Thank you, Stuart. It's got to be mate. Fury, isn't it? Like you know what I mean? Yeah, it's got to be Fury. Fury knows how good he is, like. And listen, after the fight, don't say, "Well, Fury's like twice his side." Listen, you know what I mean? That's if they're playing games with Fury, bless him. Like, yeah. if he was about in in the seventies and eighties, he'd get everyone. Every he'd get loads of fights, yeah. wouldn't he? But now I, people are playing games with him. Like, listen, the man, the man's a legend. He, he he's not only a legend to the human race; he's a legend with boxing. Like, one of the best we've ever been produced. I think like, Fury you know? could have held his own in any era against anyone because of his Jesus Christ. It, it would have been lovely to watch him against Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson, and 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 Ali and Foreman and yeah, Frazier. Uh even Joe Bugney. You know. It was a shame. Joe Bugner's second fight. I, I don't think a lot of people talk about it. A lot of people know it. Uh, oh, he was a, a European man. I think he was Dutch or Swiss or something. And he, he was ill after the fight. And he died soon after the yeah. fight with Bugner. And um, my mate was at Stoke Mandeville Hospital where Joe Bugner turned up and Henry Cooper. And he, he pulled Paul Gollett, his name was. I think it's Chris Gollett's brother. Hmm. And he said to Bugner, go on, kill him, kill him. And yeah. he said, Bugner slapped me around the face like we're saying, kill Henry Cooper. Yeah. I said, he's killed. He, you know what I mean? Someone's yeah. died. You know what I mean? He, he's yeah. killed. And I think, because they used to say he ain't got the kill. Yeah. He can't, he can't get over a death like that. You know what no. I mean? No. And, and it was a shame if it wasn't for that, like, you know, and even Ali thought Bugner was going to take his place. Yeah. He Bugner was, was brilliant, a brilliant fighter. He was he had a great and chin. It's a shame now he is his mind's gone like obviously he's lost his wife and he's lost his way now. And my heart goes out to him and his family, like you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and we should all show a little bit of respect. He, he had yeah. his haters, like he come from a you know, a country across Hungary. The the, the Russians moved in there. He, he was like a, a refugee over here, like. And the English didn't really accept him, like you know what I mean. Yeah. And I think now we should all accept him and yeah, just pray for him, like, and and wish his family, yeah, you know what I mean, uh, all the all the love and respect yeah. in the world, Thank like. You, mate. When uh, he's Kate, gone, like, he's one of the greatest. He's one, he's one of the best. Uh, one Kate, of the best. my missus gives you a shout out, Norman. Katie says hello to you. She's on. I on love you, couple. missus. You know, it's the best thing that's ever happened to you. Yeah. I mean, it your is. wife is beautiful, and and, yeah, and your girlfriends are lovely as well, like you know what I mean. <laughs> But My she brother, cares for you, like she's lovely. And listen Katie. to what she says, mate. She just, Matt. Yeah, no, she does. She keeps me keeps me on a straight and narrow. Uh, my brother Andrew says hello as well. How you doing, bro? Oh my, um, all my love to you, bro. We got yeah. we got Matt, uh, Eric from Bolton. How you doing, mate? Um, let's have a look. Ted, Ted Dugan. What is Ted? What does Norman think of the Tom, uh, Tommy Fury, um, Tyson? Oh, Tommy Tyson fight. I think Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul. What did you think of that? Jake Paul. It's Tommy you know, Jake done well, Paul. Isn't he? He, he, like, he? He's done fucking well. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? It is, it's a fight. He, 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 he won the fight. Wasn't the father professional? I've never seen the father so professional before. Yeah. He was in his on. corner, like. He didn't lose his rag. Yeah. His language was good. What a turnover, like. What a, yeah. what, what a coach. Yeah. What a father. He's got fantastic boxers, like. Fury yeah. done well. He could not. He could hang his gloves up. And now, I think Fury. I think uh, 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 he should be a film star or something. Or top. Yeah, model. I like. I like. You Tommy. know what I mean? Did you He's ever? A did you? In fella, like he doesn't need the box anymore. No. He will, and hopefully he'll go for a world title and win it. But um, in the old he done well. And in what yeah. professional? Wasn't he professional on the Robert, night? Did you? Did you ever hear about um, John Fury when you were knocking around? Because he was the same sort of age. I. I there, there was a lot of he. I knew he fought Akachango. Yeah, like, two or four, was out. He was ABA champion. He, the no, he fought Henry Akinwandi. Yeah, but he Henry fought him as a pro, didn't he? Yeah, he fought as a pro. Yeah, 
<coughs> but he never lost a pro fight, did no, he? No, he did lose a few. He lost a few. He weren't a big puncher, but he was defensive. But he got he was a great. I mean, yeah. when they when they show Fury fighting him, it showed that Fury got got knocked over by him. Like you yeah, know what I mean. Big. But yeah. the point is, like he, the, the man's, the man's. He was fantastic. He, I, I don't. You know what I mean? He he, he was twice. I don't know. ABA yeah. champion. He was a great pro, like, and uh, the old man was fantastic. Yeah. Like, give him credit. He's, he's done well. His sons. He's just getting better all the time now. Yeah. Like, he's not, he's not getting pulled into those street fights. No, anymore. they're a you good family, I mean? mate. I, I've been up there many he's times. He's matured in that. He's yeah. like a. A tree is matured with age, yeah. right? You know what I mean? Well, I'll give you a shout out, mate. Sons. Hey, listen, who wouldn't want two handsome sons like that? Yeah. World yeah. champions. The other yeah. one that celebrity like, he could go into the film world. They they could do what they yeah. want now. And, and you know what I mean? The Travellers have done well. They've, they've done me proud. I'm well proud of the Travellers. Yeah. Not only for being Travellers, but for being human, human. I think we should all look up to them. And think, you know, fair play to them, like. You well, know you've got mean? gypsy heritage. You are you. You've got gypsy in your. Coopers, blood. yeah, yeah. He was the Cooper was a was a tough. Um, there was two Coopers in the family. Yeah. Jack Cooper, Jack Cooper. There was a Jack, and George Cooper, like. Yeah. I'm gypsy trying George. to look look gypsy them George. up. Hey, is it Gypsy George Cooper? His name was was he a boxer? Gypsy George, yeah, yeah. Gypsy, he, yeah. I think he was from North London, from London, yeah, from the East End, I think, George was. I've got to give a shout-out to you, Norman. Craig Barker says, we love you, Norman, brother. You bring joy with your reels on Facebook. You know your reels on Facebook. They yeah, love I love everyone, Mike. You, you know do some mean? funny stuff. I've got to give a shout-out to Wayne Hamilton again. Thank you very much, Wayne, for the super chat. And sorry I missed it last time, but I've, I've clocked it this time. Um, you know so we've done that one. Watching now, Norman's artist street fight was against Billy McPhee. And no, it was you. <laughs> used to used to look used to break my nose as well. Dundee utility. Crack my foot cheek bone. Yeah, there's a, there, actually, there's a video of me breaking your nose on my channel where where we accidentally we sparred, yeah. didn't we? And, and it I, felt I, like you was taking me head off when you. Yeah, I, 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 I've never I known someone hit as hard. Normally, eighty percent of your fights are knockouts. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't knock AJ out, and there's a good chance you could have knocked. Uh, no. He's never been knocked out before, yeah. James Tony. No, like you know, uh, AJ. And I don't really believe that they shouldn't have stopped that fight. You know what I mean? No. But at the, the end of the day, like he was a favourite, and they wanted him as yeah. a favourite, and they wanted him to win. So yeah, you know, uh, it could have gone on. Like you know what I mean? I don't know if you had it wrapped up or he had it wrapped up. Like you know, total respect yeah. to both of you. Like you know what I mean? You've done me proud. Thank and I'm you, glad I've helped you out, and I'm glad yeah. I've helped some of the kids out. You have. You know what I mean? You can reach out and out people. Like, be kind to people. Yeah. When I go out Saturday night on the doors, I love people. I'm there yeah. for them, like. I'm a slave to them, and I love it, like. You know what I mean? I'm there to look after the crowd, to be yeah. nice to the crowd, and drink can turn people into bullies. And if even if they do kick off and they're still bullies, like, Try and reason to them. They're people's children, like they've yeah. got, you know, they've got children at home. They they've got parents. They've got cousins. And when they go to get a black eye or beaten, they go home, right? And the next day, they come back to the beautiful person they were. Yeah. It's just you get an ugliness with alcohol in there. You're 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 very diplomatic, Norman. I know what you're like. You, you're I like told me. you last time you'd I worked, rather stop you're... trouble. Then you'd rather break. You, you got the ump light, and I said, "Don't you can't get the ump, man." Yeah, because yeah. if you hit someone, you you could kill them, like you know what I mean. Yeah. And there's a gang. And there's I a said, gang of blokes. Remember, <laughs> yeah, it was a gang of blokes mouthing off, and I thought, "Oh, it's going to kick off." I don't. I couldn't. I didn't like them being rude to me when I worked on the door with you that time. Do you remember? Can you remember that two girls or two women were fighting, like about? They're, they're sons, they're, they're, they're grandsons, or their their grandsons are fighting. These two two old women were fighting, like, right? and I got in between, and I got one of them away, and I spoke to the other one. She said, "It's my grand," you know what I mean? I said, "Well, I said if it's your grandson, it's my grandson, like." Right? Yeah. And since she started laughing, it, it just broke the atmosphere up, like right? yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And but, I um, remember they, they, you was you 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 should be a doorman, mate. Yeah, I mean, you'd be like, um, 
What's his name? The, the, the hardest puncher of all times. Oh, Ernie Shavers. Yeah, he was a You'd good You'd be like player. Ernie Shavers on the door. Like. <laughs> People would love he's it. A, he's a true legend. People would love to come, you know what I mean? And you, 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 you don't have to fight. You don't, no, you don't you. think you have to bear knuckle or fight again, no. right? Well, we'll, this, we'll, we'll get this together. This is your game we'll now. Yeah. And this, hopefully, the people would love you because you're a lovable person. And I, I, I kill, call people, I say you're my son, like, because yeah, I love yeah. you to pieces. Yeah. This is where you belong in Thank this you, sort mate. of world, like, Thank you know you, what I mean? Thank you, Norman. We're going to do, we'll do a couple more questions for you. Uh, t Ted, uh, sorry, John O's Graveyard, how you doing? Thank you. Uh, Roger Mack, thank you very much. Uh, James Genders, how you doing, mate? Uh, yeah, all's good. Did Norman, yeah, Norman, I think there's a story on my channel about when Norman, um, uh, oh, the Lenny fight where he went overseas. I don't know whether that that was actually a true one, was it, that Lenny fight, but I'm not sure. Um, uh, Chris B says, were you involved in the football scene? You weren't involved football in the hooligans. I was, I was, no, no, I I was on the film Football Hooligans, I think it was. Oh, we are? Not the one with the celebrities. They had another one out. Football Factory, I think it was called. Yeah. I think I was in the film, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, I mean, I, I'd talk about when we when we won, worked for Sunrise. I don't know. I think he was a bit too young then. Oh, that was the rave. You were in the yeah, rave. Yeah, there, there was other ravers and there was other, there was other people out there. I, I didn't know, like, you know, Sunrise, there, there was no pecking order in Sunrise. We yeah. went to where we wanted to go, it doesn't matter whose manner it was. Yeah. Or whose estate it was, or who the top gangsters were. Yeah. We set up camp and we, I think what helped things was in the rave scene, it mellowed people. And I yeah, didn't pills, realize I was still about it? in the early 90s. But yeah. then cocaine took over, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can remember Colton Leach in there. And fair play, so they had good books out. And uh, they were top boys, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But um, all I can remember is what was built around Sunrise. And you can remember Tony. My love goes out to Tony Ash, one yeah. of the nicest men I've ever worked for. Like, you know Tony yeah. Ash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. He, he was down in Northampton, like. Then he moved. No, no, he was down in Luton. And he'd yeah. get a firm from Luton. Then he moved up to Northampton. He'd yeah. get a firm from Northampton. Then... Um, What's the second big Birmingham? He would Birmingham, have a firm yeah. from Birmingham. He had this little black, well, heavyweight boxer, what what beat uh, Joe Budner's son. Then yeah. he had a fella called Lawrence, like. The army got together, like, the sunrise was incredible. Along yeah. with Richard Graham, was a top doorman over, I love them both, like, over Milton Keynes, like, you yeah. know what I mean? Then we we had to put up with Ginger Steve Aldroyd. Oh yeah, bless him. We, yeah. I loved him, like. But bless him, yeah. Then he used to get us into trouble. Yeah, sadly oh. passed away now, isn't he, Steve? Yeah, um, he ended up running someone. He he kept wanting to run people over all yeah. the time. He yeah, did. He done time for running someone over. Wasn't that the fight where you got your jaw broke with a weapon from the side? Yeah, they nicked his chain. Like I was used a lot of the times, and that's my own stupid fault. I don't blame people for using me. I was there to be used, like, you know what I mean? I wasn't the sharpest tool, and I, I loved everyone, like, you know what I mean? I was used a few times. He did take me to work. He didn't tell me, like, the Birmingham boys were down there in Brixton, like, and they were tooled up. I didn't see – it wasn't – it couldn't have been a fist. Like, I've been hit with you before in the fucking jaw, and it should have – you should have broken it, like. It was a tool. I think it was a knuckle duster or an iron bar. I've had it broke a few times. The only good thing about getting your jaw wired up is that you, you can lose weight. You know, you can't eat. <laughs> and, and I did used to lose weight. I used to love it. I slimmed down. It was fantastic. Yeah. But yeah, I can remember getting out. I got out. <laughs> I was in Stone Man of the Hospital, like. And they wired me all up, like. And I had the ump, like. So I got out, I had the dressing gown on, like, yeah. but there was no, the back was naked, like, it was just an airy arse you could see. <laughs> and I run onto the road and I had all these things and drips and that, and I was waving a taxi down, like, and God knows what people thought. I jumped in a taxi <laughs> and went home to the kids and everything, and uh, the phone, the hospital phoned up, they said, look, if he's sick, if Mr. Buckman's sick, you, he, he, you know, he's got to come back to hospital. Yeah. I was off me head, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, 
I wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. I've made a lot of mistakes. I'm sorry, like I've always tried to help the underdog out, like you yeah. know what I mean. Never bullied. And I love people. I do yeah, honestly yeah. love people. Right, you're, you're and when I go proper. out to work, the kids there, these beautiful 18, 20 year old girls are like my grandchildren, like yeah. you know what I mean. And I yeah, respect you look after them, them, even the boys. I respect them like my kids, and, yeah. and I go out and give them a tap on the back when I go past. The only thing is when it does kick off, oh, it's great. I've got to use the radios now. I yeah. use them all the time. Yeah, yeah. Last angry. night, it was going to kick off. These two fellas, like two different gangs, and you couldn't see what was going on. All you could see were their eyes and their mouths. And uh, I, I got on there, and I said, listen, red alert on the dance floor. I said, come in, like, don't go straight in, stand back and let me do my bit, like. Yeah. So when the doorman come in, I, I run straight over there. And you had about five big doormen standing out tall they were, like. They're a lovely crowd, like. Good yeah. doorman as well, like. And I caught the two boys that went to break apart, like. I said, look, lads. I said, I know what's happening. They were having a kicking competition. They didn't like each other and had a kicking yeah. competition. But you, I could see by the eyes, and you can see if they're on cocaine. You know when they're on cocaine, yeah. or when they're on the blow and stuff, or ease. You just know when. But this club's professional, like, and it's pretty good. And I said, listen, we don't know fucking about because my doorman don't like. They're not my doorman. I'm just a doorman like they are. Yeah. I said, but my doorman don't like it. And I said, you see the size of them. I said, you kick off again, then I'll march you straight out. I didn't have to take them out the door and throw them out. I'd done it there. And it's nice to have the big boys around you, like the big guns around you. Yeah, yeah. Just to show yeah. show an it's appearance. Like. Yeah. I said, they're not here to piss about, lads. Yeah. And I don't spoil the night for everyone. Do you know the boys are good as gold the rest of the night? Yeah. Good as gold. It's the way you talk, it's the way you can calm it down with your personality. Well, you, you've got to look up. Oh, you've got to look. I mean, even if they're bullies, like they might be the most nicest people, they're family people with kids and during yeah. the day, like they might have a drink, have a row with the missus, like the head might go, they come out and they get aggressive and they turn into bullies, like yeah. they still got to be look, you still got to look up the bullies. That's and if it, you get right? a slap or a kick, sometimes I, used, I never used to use the walkie talkie, I used to run in there too quick while they're fighting. Yeah. So I'd get a punch in the mouth and a kick up the arse. Like. <laughs> but the point is, our job's to break it up, to steady it down, to calm yeah. it. And I always use that as well, like, yeah. you know what I mean? To calm things down. And the last thing we want to do is hit anyone or rough yeah. anyone up, like. And if the boys get a little bit leery, I do, you know what I mean? I I say, listen, lads, we're here to stop the trouble, like. We're not here to hurt anyone, like. And he's got such a good team. A mate, what's his, uh, well, Dave, Dave, he's a big fella. He wants you to work with us. He, he's yeah. got other work, like. Yeah. And he, he, he over over six months or a year, he's I'll picked a fantastic team out, right? Yeah. And I'll everyone knows what they're doing. And yeah. now I feel great because I can sit back and relax. Well, I'm a walkie-talkie, like. Yeah. Oh, you, I don't you, have to you, go in there and get slapped and beat up you, anymore. You've been doing it for 50 years, which is an amazing... And not you've constantly done door work. You've never took a break, have you? Even when years. I didn't have my licence, when I come out of prison, the licence, I, I blame that on me, like because I was a doorman. Uh, and the, the shooting thing, yeah. yeah, happened in Mango Jacks. A few of the boys got shot. And shot, yeah, I, I wasn't I, I wasn't in... I was in prison at the time. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, Tony. Tony it Tony, was it? What's Tony Winnup, Tony Winnup, yeah. God bless his soul. I love them, the peace um, of life. And I told him, don't don't take a gun to work. But well, God's sake, he said, Norman, they want to kill me. Like, yeah. I said, right, get the boys up there. And I sent the message out. I want them to come out to prison and sort it all out. Uh, the team were a Milton King's team. What I was in, Owlsbury, working the doors. They were lovely, like, you know what I mean? But Owlsbury, they in Owlsbury. They wanted Owlsbury uh, door yeah. in there. Like, I couldn't be there at the time. He's dead now. He was a lovely fella. And bless them, like, the boys were got shot. My heart goes out to them. I think Buchanan got one in the leg. He's yeah. my mate. Do you know Buchanan come in the prison? He'd never touched weights before, like. Yeah, I remember. I, t I, t I trained, like, all the kids. Like, I trained him on the weights. And he was as strong as me before he even weight trained, like. You yeah. know what I mean? He's Some got boys have got a natural strength like you have. Yeah. yeah. You've got a natural. And the bet, you know, I went to prison for a few years. 
just to see you get on in life, I'd go back there again, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah. now I'm, I, you know what I mean? I, I've come out, I don't, you know what I mean? I'm in love with my wife. Yeah. Life is beautiful now. I wake up, my depression's gone. I've had a lifetime of depression, which yeah. disappeared. I'm not saying it won't come back. My wife's got a little <laughs> straw house. Uh, a little what is it now? Bamboo house, yeah. coconut leaves on the on the roof. Right? <laughs> What's the cat called? Snoopy's got a cat called Snoopy Dog. We got a, a a little pocket bully called Governor. Yeah. And when people say that's not your name, that's Lenny's name. I said, "What? Well, no, that's one thing I always get mixed up." <clears throat> When I won the governor title, I, I was always the governor in the street anyway. So I was a bare knuckle champion. Spartan gave me the bare knuckle title, a bare knuckle champion. I was, and that's all legal, and that's the way it is. Like when I got um, Roy Shaw's belt, yeah. The first thing I shouted to the crowd is, "I'm the fucking governor," because I didn't want to copy Roy's and Lenny's yeah. name. They'll always be the governors, and I look up to them. Yeah. Remember, Every, there's all I'm different governors. Governor. Yeah, there's all, everyone's, they were the governors in their era and you did it in your era. I, I've always rated you on the, your, your forte was street fighting. That was where yeah. you were at your best. Yeah. Uh, Norm, yeah. before we carry on, mate, um, Kenneth Brown said, do we, do we remember Johnny Waldron? Yeah, I'm doing a video on Johnny Waldron. I spoke to Johnny <laughs> Waldron and, and his son, Jamie, the other day. So sometime next week, I've got a video coming out about Johnny Waldron. And with footage, fight footage and everything. Uh, Paul Smith, thank you very much. Normally says you're a very humble and proper man. John Hill, afternoon, mate. Thank you. Um, Craig Barker, thank you very much, mate. Ted, Norm, he's a, Norman, you're a champ. Brilliant. Oh, Autistic man, lovely. how you doing? Autistic man says hello. Dean, yeah, Le Dean, Lee Murray. Yeah, I've seen Lee Murray fight a couple of times in Oxford years and years ago when he was on the way up. And I spoke to Lee what, a few what times. What weight was he? What weight was he? Lee Murray was the cage fighter, but he was a good boxer as well, Lee Murray. I used to see him. I used to be at the, the early shows, the very early shows yeah. of Lee. Uh, Craig Barker, thank you very much. Uh, Edge, did Norman know Cliff Fields? Uh, uh, hey, listen, listen, oh, listen, listen to me, everyone there, like. I always went over to look at him, look for him, like, you know what I mean? And people said, like, you, you won't like what you see, Norman. He's on the street now. Yeah, I think Paul Sykes ended up that way, like a bit yeah. of a tramp on the street. And you said, Norman, I'm going to his funeral. And I said, Matt, take me with you, please. Yeah. You know what I mean? You didn't take me with you. you forgot. Did, I take, did I take you with you? No. I can remember when you was over. Um, oh, my memory's when, terrible. When, when you was over Bedford, you was Matt Skelton. And some of the boys used to spar with. And I used to say, Matt, take me with you. I want to spar with Yeah. I, I, I used to love forget. to spar with him. Yeah. I used to spar with Matt every morning at, for six rounds. Oh, I used Bedford. to want to come over with you. Oh, like. you'd, you'd always be welcome. I'd love to see you, you over. You, 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 was, you used to be on a private mission, like, you know I used mean? to just go, I used to sometimes go drinking at the weekend. And yeah, then but go you used to, used on to train Monday. up north and tight spar with Tyson yeah. Fury. I, I used Those to do spar at the moment. I, I really wanted to spar with because I knew where they were going, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, and I was only a street fighter, and I won the novice ABR. I was home county, I fought for the home county. But um, I would have loved to got in there and told the stories yeah. there, like. Yeah. But hey, well, listen, I did have two long to Dick it. Wright, uh, uh, Michael Dick, and I fought some good pros, like I was far with some good pros. Yeah, and down the bottom, we've had some good travellers turn up now, and 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 now and again, we've had some boys. What well, are not fighters like, but they want to shoot each other. And I say, look, don't shoot each other. We go around burning each other's houses. I yeah. say, come down there and have a tear up. And you let them have a tear up for five minutes. They're both knackered, blood coming out their yeah. faces like. So you get in there and you put both their hands up and you say, it's yeah. a draw. And they cuddle each other like, and it's all over like. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not blown. I'm not saying violence is great or, or, or the criminal to criminal apathy is, is great, but sometimes to get two boys in the ring and they the, the go at each other like, and they come out shake, it saves all of the the, the agony yeah. with the families and everything like. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I sometimes think it goes on, especially with the travellers. 
where the families end up killing each, you know, one, or, yeah. one another, like, you know. I think they should teach boxing in schools like they used to. Um, just quickly, Norm, we're going to shout out to um, Rare Cockney Governor. How you doing? Uh, I've got a shout out to Lee Wortley as well and your book. Anyone interested, I'll put a link in the, in the description when this is over to Norman's book. It's called The New Governor. Lee Wortley has done books on uh, Lenny McLean. He's done a book on Ch uh, Charlie Bronson. And he's done Norman's book as well. So he's got a good pedigree with his writing. So shout out to Lee Wortley as well. Um, Paul Smith. Yeah, yeah. Pa taking punches is fitness, is fitness, yeah. It's fitness and heart. You, you need the fitness and the heart. That's true. Um, the point is, go... you, 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 can beat, you can beat your opponent by blowing him out. Yeah. And mentally, like, if he's in a punch bag, a bulletproof punch bag, and he's not getting nowhere, he's in trouble. It's mentally, it's a mental thing. It's about but listen, heart. the hardest bloke I've fought on the street is you. Matt Fee was nothing in your class. <laughs> And you, you, you were, man. but th that's the past now. And the boxing, hopefully that's the past of you as well. Well, yeah. fighting. Yeah. This is your future. This What yeah. you're doing now is your future. And the point is, I guarantee to anyone out there, you are an honest, lovable citizen. You are a great person. You're, 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 you're an influence to all the youngsters out there. Like You yeah. know what I mean? Thank you. You've Thank been you, there. Man. You've done it. You've done wrong. You put your hands down. I, I, I took you somewhere. You see your future. That's the only yeah. time I've ever seen you go white before. Yeah. The only time I've ever seen you look scared is when you spoke to that fortune to run off the market, wasn't it? Yeah, fortune teller. Yeah, but market. he got it right. And I still didn't know what he said like. He got it all and right. He said, to, he, said to, he, said, he said to me that day, he said, this is the game what you're in now. He knew he knew what I was doing. He knew what I was going to get involved in. Yeah. And he knew everything that was going People to happen. People were going to die and around you. People were going to be in prison around yeah, you. Yeah, he told me. He told me. And he was and I, he was spot on. And you went white. Was. I've never seen you look scared. The only time I've ever seen you look yeah, scared. Yeah, he knew, he knew everything about what Everyone was Everyone was out there. Sometimes your future's written out there. Um, and you need... I'm, I'm talking about a fucking Ouija ball. Don't go there. Nothing to do with evil or nastiness. Sometimes you need to just... Uh, Swing the right way, you know what I mean, yeah. and get a little bit of help, get a good a bit of good advice, like yeah. Reach out there, a little bit of kindness. You don't yeah. have to take too much. Just be nice to people, like you know what I mean. Yeah, just appreciate life. You know what I mean. I'm gonna give a and shout out. Good mate. things will come, mate. Good, good, yeah. Be positive as well. I, I always encourage people to keep away from crime, keep away from violence now, yeah. Yeah. because yeah. it's like we know it's, there's no good that comes from it. Um. Yeah, yeah, Norman has got a parrot in the background, Emma. He's got a big parrot. Oh, can you get the parrot, Nanette? <laughs> Adrian can O'Donnell, parrot, thank darling. you very much, mate. I've got a dog. <laughs> Matt, uh, 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 Josh. <laughs> yeah. Not Kat. Joe Rogan. You let the dog out. Oh, thank you, not Joe Rogan. John Hill, all let the best, mate. Out. Kit Kat. Right. Hey, what's, what's this? What's this? No, bang, yeah. bang, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Norman. Bang, bang, Ray Hill's on as well. How you doing, bang, bang? Oh, so, Ray. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm right. I'm sorry. You're not seventy. You're not eighty uh, years old. Hold on, Paul. Paul B. This was a, Paul B. Hold on. It was a different Billy McPhee. It wasn't the one um, in the documentary. This no, was another yeah, another Billy McPhee. Was originally from Scotland, like he was Scottish, but it was another McPhee, wasn't it? Another Billy, like there was a mix-up, like it's like saying I, I fought John Sam, like. There's millions of songs, probably hundreds of thousands of uh, John Sam's, right? Yeah. Sometimes we get things mixed up, like, you know what I mean? And uh, no disrespect, but the Billy I fought, I don't know. He's never got back to me. Yeah. They're probably dead because they're a bit old. Look at it, hey. Look at that. Hey. Yeah. You've got loads. Do you remember you know, when you used to collect you know, animals you know, in the prison? What, Do you remember what's you used to collect now? animals? Fuller. Do you ever you collected Bulla, them birds? Bulla lo yeah, Buller loves, uh, he loves dogs, like. And uh, how can you not love a dog? Yeah. I think you better take her. Oh, he's eating <laughs> my ears. Get on. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Dark demon fight. Big shout out to Norman. Uh, Paul Duckworth. Uh, did you ever meet Paul Sykes? I don't think you did, did you? Yeah, I did, but he was down um, Caesar's Palace. 
Was that Paul Sykes? Yeah, it was Paul Sykes was down Caesar's Palace really? for a night out. Should I get her? Yeah, Lee, Lee, get her? Lee Coleman says, when was your last fight in the ring or on the street? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dark Demon, I'm good, thank you, mate. Not too bad. I'm really happy with my last couple of interviews that I've done. With Charlie Bronson's brother, Mark, and with Ricky Grover on Friday. Yeah, thank you, mate. Um, here you go. Oh, she's gone again. She just flew off. Luke Jones, how you doing? I, 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 I try not to fight in a street. I don't like, I don't go on a punch bag. And so I'd want to spar and I want to go on a punch bag. Apart yeah. from you knocking my solo plex inside out. <laughs> um, because it gets you that, you know, yeah. when you get excited, your hands go like, you know yeah. what I mean? And if I come on stuck, like, I'd probably let a right hand go. But I don't want to throw punches anymore. I don't want to no. fight anymore. I don't want to hurt anyone. And I've always said to you, like, on the door, the worst you can do is slap. Just slap, like. That's all you yeah. got to do. Um, I was knocked over the other night. I, where was it? It was outside, and it kicked off, like. I felt I landed on someone, but I made the mistake. I let him back up, and he kicked off again, like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I shouldn't, but it's difficult. I, I'm not used to, I, I never go outside the club. So yeah. all I'm used to is walking people outside to the door and saying good night. You know what I mean? But when I didn't, you know, I couldn't throw him out because he was outside. I should have been outside. Yeah. But the point is, the old Bill and Windsor are brilliant. Like, they really are fantastic. Like, total respect to you, the old Bill. Like, uh, and they do their job properly. Like, and I love everyone what goes down to the club. Like, they know I love them all, yeah. and I try hard as I can to keep the peace. And the mate, they've enjoyed their sides. They, they, they have a great night there. It's a fantastic. What's the name of the club, uh, Nanette? Labyrinth. Yeah. The Labyrinth. Lot. And hopefully, when everything comes through, you can join us. I'll try and come Maybe up there. We, we might, you might get a club yeah. in Milton. I love Milton Kings. I love it's a 45 minute an hour drive from there. But I, I love working in Milton Kings. I my fighting days, I don't want to fight, not even no. in the street. I think if I got roughed up or jumped or whatever, I I can take a hiding. Like I'll have to take yeah. an hiding. So what? I've taken a hiding all my life. I'm not. When I was a kid, like when I used to go to school, I used to I used to get roughed up. Like even the girls at times used to beat me up. Like you know what I mean? But I'll tell you who taught me, and he taught you as well. And I made I, I told you I had to go to him when I was in Nick. Like Billy Hutchison. Yeah, Billy Hutchinson, yeah. Good was fighter. he a great coach? Lovely man. Brilliant Combined man. service champion, wasn't he? Yeah. Good man, Billy. He, he, he fought Terry Marsh, Pat Kent Caldell, like. And when he was in the RAF, he couldn't turn pro, and they used to fly him all over the world to fight the best in each country, like. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd like, do you know, it'd be nice if you could come over yeah. and interview him some I'll do an interview with Billy, mate, at some point. I'd like to get Billy on. He's, I love Billy. He's, he helped me out every Saturday morning in his garden. You know, Billy, Billy was, I was a mug to spar with you, like, I used to get knocked about, like. But Billy was the only man I'd never spar with. Yeah. Because I loved and respected him, like. <sighs> But he was like you. He he, he he was dangerous, like you know what I mean. Yeah, he, he wasn't he's, massive. He wasn't a big fella, but he was. He had a heart of a lion. Jesus Christ! I've seen him up people, and even in the street, like it was a, even at eleven stone, like he, he'd take an army down, like you know. Yeah. I, I, I try to get him back on the door, like, but he's he's in yeah. his seventies now. And uh, Ray Hill, I love you, Ray. Yeah, Ray listen. Exactly. Ray Hill, you're only 50 years old, mate. I'm sorry I said you was 80. <laughs> I love uh, you, mate. I used to uh, watch him. You used to see me looking at him, like. Yeah. But I used to look down, like, and he used to smile and wink. He was a lovely character. Yeah. We're going to get like together with Ray. The governor gonna, of Spitfield, like, you know. We're going to get together with Ray as well, mate. Uh, he, he was like the people used to tell me. He, and I I thought he was the governor as well. Yeah. That's before yeah. Lenny and, and Roy, like, yeah. you know what I mean? He was a top boy, like, but... Yeah. He, he wasn't, he, he, nah, he could have clouted me or kicked me up the arse, like, I was amazed by him. And at that, that time, he was much bigger, like, you know. Yeah. But he was quiet, he was respectful, and they used to have little digs, like little ding-dongs on the market and that. He yeah. was great. And what I've learned through life, like, you know what I mean? It's fantastic. And some of the hard men, even Lenny McLean, like, you know what I mean? 
when I when I when I met him up London, like you know what I mean. He was there to look look after his boys. What what, what were the, the 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 security team? What brought him in? He must have got three or five hundred pound. Like he didn't have to say nothing. Michael didn't <laughs> Dick didn't come up with me that night because I said, look, Michael, you you can't go challenging them like you know what i mean yeah. you know they're just a bit of a mix-up i spoke to the security there like i said no disrespect like i'm gonna do my job and don't try stopping me and lenny was there and i carried on doing my job he come up to show his face he was fantastic the most intimidated bloke i ever see like i i fell in love with him like because yeah. it's just the size of him i didn't if i only knew he was lenny mclean because yeah. I used to follow him when he was 15, 10. He used to yeah. fight. And I didn't know that was Lenny McLean. It was years later, like. Yeah. And his wrists were so big, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I yeah. loved to met him. I would have loved to got to know him, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They well, said he was bully, but maybe he bullied the bullies, like, you know yeah. what I mean? You yeah. know, uh, and while he was bullying the bullies, he might have scared a few people, like a grandma or something like that, and... I don't know, like, but yeah. bless his soul, like, he's dead now. Yeah, Roy exactly. Shaw, Roy Shaw was my hero. You know, he yeah. was your hero as well, like. You well, know they all, I mean? all were, yeah. It was nice the if they like could have got on. They could have been Cliff Fields. I wouldn't have liked to box him, like. He was in the same class as you, mind you. You'd won more fights than him. Uh, um, um, Paul Sykes. Yeah. I, 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 I could have gone up and met him, like, when he was in Caesar's Palace. But now and again, I would want to sit down with the with the normal people, like, because I didn't see myself being fit as a celebrity, like, you know what I mean? I couldn't yeah. see myself. No, you deserve like it, that. mate. You deserve it for what you've done. Yeah, but the point is, I, I, I come from, I wasn't, I could, my nan used to go mad. She used to say I was illiterate and, and, and mentally retarded because I, I just couldn't read all right. I was useless, like, you know what I mean? And you start believing yourself. Yeah. But the point is, I never looked down on no one. I always loved no. and respected the boys up in London. Ricky English, what he done for you. Yeah, Ricky I love English. you, Ricky. You're fantastic. Yeah, love Ricky. You had another fella up in um, Northampton, was it? Sean. Sean Burns. Sean. Sean Burns. Yeah, to Sean. Sean Burns. Sean Burns. I respect his reputation. He had a yeah. fantastic reputation. He used to be on the same belts as me, like the same shows. He was a lovely fella, and what he done for you, Ricky English, and the rest of the boys around you, yeah. total fucking respect. Uh, Joey Pole, the old man, he was one of the best gangsters I've ever met, a real true gangster, yeah. along with Freddie oh. Foreman, like, even the young, uh, young, young Joey, like, we had our ups and downs. Joey, I love you, I'd be there tomorrow for you, like, God bless yeah. you, you know I love you, like, you know what I mean? And we have our falling outs. But I don't yeah, carry it. Sorted, I don't no. have no grudges. No, that's, I love it's everyone. All and please, if I've upset anyone, please forgive me. I yeah. make mistakes. And I want no, to put anything good. I've ever upset anyone asleep like. You know what I mean? That's, that's good, mate. No, it's all forgotten now, all that. But let's give some shout-outs and some questions, mate, again. Autistic man, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you, mate. Uh, someone said, will I fight again? Pos maybe, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. I still feel like I've still got something left, but Norman doesn't want me to. Uh, Katie doesn't want me to. I personally think I could still do something, maybe unlicensed or maybe one or two bare knuckle, but it all depends when my body holds out. Um, we asked some more questions here. Uh, Purple Aki, thank you, mate. Me and Norman have got a friendship. I used to look up to Norman from 14, 15 years old. Obviously got to know him more when we were in prison, and I I'm grateful that he got me into boxing. Without Norman's encouragement, I probably would never have boxed. I wanted to be a street fighter, so he got me away from that. Well, I still had street fights, but I, I concentrated on boxing. Uh, Ian, Ian, oh, Ian Dutton, how you doing, Ian? We get out question power, for, me, question for Norman. Here I come. Hold on. Uh, who in Matt's prime would you like to see me fight? Yeah, I always wanted to fight Mike Tyson when I was boxing because he was the most dangerous. I always wanted to fight the uh, the dangerous ones. That's why I took the opportunity to fight AJ because I knew that it, nobody wanted to fight him and I knew I could go out and, and just see if I had the bottle to get in there. There's a the parrot. <laughs> Wait. James Horrocks, how you doing, mate? Thank you very much, James. Uh, uh, Emma Bullman, how old are you now, Norman? Are you 60, 60 now? 60. Yeah, 60. 60, so yeah. 
I mean, I'm, on the doors, I'll probably take a few beatings now. I don't want to like, but you know what I mean? I've, I've kept a good head up. Like, I've not lost any street fights and that. No. But the point is I've come to the age now, well, if someone's going to, you know what I mean, give me, knock me about, yeah. then they knock me about and I ain't going to respond because the fighting days are over, like, you know yeah. what I mean? I, I won't go back to prison no. and I don't want to hurt anyone. I've tried to help people out as much as I can in the fight game. Yeah. I've helped a lot of people out. It doesn't, it doesn't pay. Crime don't pay. That's one reason the Cray twins, Ronnie was ill. Reggie, at the end, I, I see him and he said to the world, crime doesn't pay. And I respect no. him for that. That Reggie Cray, my heart goes out to the Cray, Reggie Cray, for saying that. And to say yeah. that to the youngsters, like, that was good. What he said yeah. was good. It I mean, that's it. I always tell people, keep away from crime. I tell my kids, avoid it. But all the violence, all the crime, there's no good outcome apart from prison, death, mm. or things like that. I know we, know, I, I mean, if you ask Freddie Foreman, like one of the greatest gangsters of all time, he'll say it as well. Any top yeah. gangster will say crime doesn't pay, yeah. drug doesn't pay, evil doesn't pay. There's a devil out there. Just yeah. push, push him aside and get on and love life. Get on with yeah. it. Good life. 100%. You've always been like that, Norman. Uh, a couple more questions here, mate, um, down the bottom. Oh, boxing. Hold on a sec. Yeah, let me just go to the bottom. So did you work like John Stevens? Thank you very much, John Stevens. I really appreciate that. He's, he's on the super chat. Thank you, John. Um, I'm so happy. Yeah, the channel's going really well. Now I know how to do these lives uh, with Charlie Bronson's brother last week and then Ricky Grover Friday. You know, now with you, Norman. Can uh, I I'll say, doing. can I just say when we was away, Charlie, Charlie Bronson was down the block and a few of the boys went down the block getting into trouble and everything like, yeah. and they said Charlie was a lovely fella. He, he used to help them. He, when he used to go running around the yard, he used to put them on their shoulder and go running. He used to help them to train, you know, to train like. I've never heard nothing in, 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 in Woodhill Prison with the youngsters. And yeah. even the screws now, I know the screws will look after him. Yeah. Let him well, out. Hopefully he'll be out. Hopefully he'll get that. The, the only thing with Charlie, he's got to stay in the right company. Yeah. You know, stay out in the sticks. Just stay away yeah. from it all. Enjoy yeah. life. Chill out. Everyone yeah. loves you. You can become a millionaire in no time. But just be careful with life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hopefully we'll get to see We'll see him when he comes out, and hopefully he does get out. Can I just ask everyone to please hit the uh, the like button, hit the thumbs up, please, as well. Thank you. Um, yeah, so hopefully he will do, mate, after 50 years. And I'm going to interview uh, Charlie's brother again once the uh, parole hearing result comes out. So that will be another interview coming up um, probably in a week or so. Um, I'll just check for more questions here, Norman. Uh, have you heard of Steve Miller, the caveman? No. Who was that? I know Stefan Miller that passed away, sadly. Uh, Roger Mack, how you doing? AC, hello, mate, from the United States, is that? Yeah, from the United States. Thank you very much. Thanks, Roger Mack. I've got to say as well, Norman, um, all talking about the, the street fighting and stuff like that, the, the main one I used to hear about when you were in your prime was the one when you fought the four men with a broken arm. That was a legendary fight. And you carried on with a broken arm against four men with hockey sticks, didn't you? And you beat them, did you, but you bit them, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. It was terrible. I shouldn't have bit them. I don't know why I did bite. I think it was a scream for desperation. I don't know. I don't know why people, you don't bite. You know what I mean? It was I, would, I, would, I, would, I would if I had to. If I had to, if my arm was broke, and it was like that, I probably would Yeah, do. yeah. But you... you I used to teach you to fight dirt and you didn't like that either. You was a clean <laughs> cut. You're a clean cut man, like. You're, you're, you're fantastic for the public, for the youngsters. You're a role model, like. And the more the world can understand and the more they can see of you out there, like, you want to spread your wings, like, get out there, show yourself, like. And I guarantee everyone will love you, like. Thank you, man. You're, you're everything I could have dreamed of. Your parents have done a great job on you, like. What you've done in prison, I don't know what you've done in prison. Thank God I took you to a fortune. Well, 
Yeah, yeah he was a fortune teller, I suppose. Yeah. Like, and he give you the future, like, you was going off the cliff, like. Yeah. And you turn it all around, like, and people can do this, like, people can turn their lives around for the better. Now, now you're a legend, like. Thank exactly. you, mate. Well, you guided me through it, mate. You, you, you got me. Yeah, there, but mate. You, right. I get this, I get this back, this kindness and this yeah. love, love back from it's you. It's the like. least I can do, mate. It's the least. It's I can great, do. mate. You know I want mean? you. I want people to see the real you because they didn't really know the real you. All they saw was a couple of videos on YouTube. And I was a fat old man. Yeah, you weren't. Yeah, you weren't I was you, a yeah, and oh, I wanted them to know that in your prime on the street, yeah, you were definitely one of the top men. In the I country. was arguing with the boys before AJ. I was arguing with him. He won't jump. I said, AJ, if you're getting in there and you think you're taking a dive, you're not. Oh, taking JJ, a dive. JJ, that was. I JJ. Went, then I thought the West Ham lot that yeah. was a setup to because I said, Listen, I yeah. want something big. So I thought that was a setup, like. So I jumped out and knocked him out, like. Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought they was on the wind up, like. You know what I mean? AJ was a lovely fella, like. A lot of the J boys I fought. JJ. I met one boy I fought. His arms are so big. From yeah. um, golf. Golf, yeah, golf. golf. He, he was so big that it showed that I could get in there with the best. And if I didn't want to get hit, I wouldn't get hit. Yeah, he was throwing eight or nine punches, and I was just dodging my head like that. Was your mean? best fight on YouTube, I think, when you were rolling underneath? Yeah, uh, yeah, versus Dolph. Yeah, because I didn't want to get hit. The man was a man, he, he sparred with the top yeah. pros. God knows what he was doing in there with me. Like, uh, he could have made a great professional, like, you know what yeah. I mean? And he was a lovely guy as well. Just and he group. caught me one at one punch. I thought he was going to take my head off, like, <laughs> but he goes to show. I didn't need, I, I should have boxed when I got in there. My old man, yeah. his spirit told me to box. Yeah. But I I thought Lenny McLean, and all that stuff, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I clowned yeah. about. I was used to fighting three, four, maybe five, six people on the street. And maybe they'd, they'd had a drink or they might have been on drugs, but they're easy enough to knock over. <laughs> One bloke in the ring, like, you know what I mean? I didn't yeah. see it being a problem. Going flat out for three rounds, I could go flat out yeah. for three rounds. I could go 15 free minutes sparring, like. I remember. You know what I mean? Although I was a fat old man, like, and uh, um, I had problems, like, I was stuff, suffering depression. No excuses, like. Yeah. I got in there like, and I said, "Look, you're saying on the on the I am the governor on the street." I said, "Now I want the belt <laughs> to be the governor yeah. on the online." Got and I got, got both it. the belts, like you know what I mean. I'm gonna do some more shout outs, mate. Norman, I'm gonna shout out to J Dub. Thank you, mate. Um, big time, Charlie Potatoes. Yeah, Norman has done that story about Billy McPhee. It was quite a good fight. Uh, but Alan, thank you very much. Mank man, how you doing? Uh, you got a message here, Norman, from Lee. He said, "Hello, Norman. It's Lee." You trained me on the pads in Wolverton Agora in the boiler room. Yeah. That was your office. Uh, thank you, Lee. For, he loves the channel as well. Do you remember that, Norman? I, I loved it in Wolverton. I used to help people out. And yeah. I was in the pub across the road there. The Vic. I was there the other night. I went up there the other night. And, uh, yeah, I used to I, I used to get the boys and spar with the boys upstairs, about 15 of them, all jacked the lads. And I got them all gloved up, like, and I, had a, I went a few rounds of all of them at once. Of course, yeah. they went two minutes flat out. They're all on the floor. <laughs> I hadn't even thrown a punch. Yeah. And he was uh, – I used to let them beat me up as well in the gut like I did with you, yeah. like. And they, they couldn't work it out. They, 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 It was lovely trying out the kids out, like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, uh, at, least, uh, that's at least I could do. And they're yeah. people's children, like. You know what I mean? And – you know, at least fucking try, try and help people, right? That's it, mate. Help people out rather than hinder. The Benjamins, thank you very much. Yeah, Charlie Bronson would be a good podcast. Uh, Chelsea Darts, how you doing, mate? Hope you're well. Julian McGowan, Boxing Predictions, thank you very much, mate. Uh, Emma Bulmer says, do you think Charlie will be left to live his life? Uh, probably not. I think he'll be pulled left, right and centre because he's such a, a famous character. Uh, the Edge, get Bill the Bomb's daughter on, or son on. Yeah, that would be good to. I spoke to Bill's uh, wife Bev the other day, and I've, I'm going to try and get to see Bev again, but over a cup of tea this time because I had a good chat with Bev uh, and Bonnie actually, Bill's daughter. But whether they'll come on again, hopefully they will. Um, uh, yeah, he'll never be left alone. J Dub, uh, Charlie Bronson, uh, Paul B says, brilliant podcast, Matt and Norman. Thank you, mate. Johnny Cash, love your honesty, Norman, which is true. Uh, Simon Page, Matt, you're looking very well. Thank you, mate. Respect to me and Norman. 
did did I say Matty Jr.? Yeah, Matty Jr. stopped fighting, but he was very good, my son. Very good fighter. He's a, he's on the street having a, he had a couple of fights on the street as well. He had a fight with five lads the other week, and he got the better of them, which is crazy. <laughs> Uh, Cook Master, thank you very much from Colorado. I'd love to come over there. Thank you very much. It's, it's crazy to have people in Australia, America, and Ireland. We have a lot of people all over. We used to work at Milton Keynes together as well. Yeah, we used to do yeah. clubs. So I don't know what pubs we've done. We've done a few pubs, and yeah, I think Kevin was with us a couple of Kevin, times. Kevin, Kevin Wilson, yes, yeah. shout out to Kev Wilson. Kev, uh, Kev, Ab I love you, Kev. Love Kev, Absimus Maximus, how you doing? Justin Steele. And you've got uh, all these beautiful Mills, people out yeah. there. Nice one, Justin. Well, I envy you, like you've got lovely, you've got it, you've got it out there. You've you people love you because you're a lovely person, like you know what I mean? Right. You're gonna spread your wings now. This is where you belong in this game now, like you yeah, know what I mean? Doing the interviews, thank you, Norman. Yeah. Uh AC, thank you for the super chat donation there, mate. I appreciate that from America. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying doing the interviews, Norman, and because I've got quite a few contacts in the crime world or the boxing world, and some in, a couple in the acting thing. Hopefully, I can get some good guests on. Uh, but can I just say boxing with the monster, boxing with a monster and hammer? How you doing, mate? I hope Fenton's well. Shout out to Fenton and Bob. All the best. Can you give him a shout out, Bob and Fenton? Um, Bob and Fenton, I fucking love you. We got to pop up and see the judge, and we Dodger. Oh, Judge What's Rinder. Judge Rinder. Do, do, no, do, do. What's his name, Nanette? I don't know what's his name. Oh, Come here. Can, can let everyone see you. <laughs> I've got a beautiful Filipino wife. I think my mum and dad are dead like. I think they found her for me. Yeah. And I think I'm with her now, like. Uh, and I'm so happy, like. You know she's what I mean? Lovely. It's lovely. come late in life. But, you know what I mean? Some things do come late in life. Yeah. So you deserve, you deserve machine, happiness, like, mate. Um, yeah, Judge, one, one of your friends, I've got to go down the coast and see him. Oh, oh, oh Dodge, Dodge Woodall. Dodge, yeah, yeah. Dodge Woodall, yeah. yeah, shout out to Dodge Woodall. He's got a, he's got a brilliant podcast. Oh, can he's I say as well? Yeah. I forgot to say, my, the Sean Atwood podcast I've got uh, coming out at six o'clock today. So my yeah. Sean Atwood one's out today. But yeah. Dodge Woodall will be brilliant, mate. He's a brilliant bloke. Great podcast. He, um, he, he interviews and great. You, I love it. Thanks for what you're doing for me, lot. I love getting out there. Yeah, and just spreading a good word, like yeah. and positive, like you know positivity what I mean, and and love and peace and harmony if we can. That's it, like yeah. um, Ed, and Ed after was... what we've seen in prison, like yes, you know what I mean. I, I, I can you remember the bloke what come in, and, and he was an hairdresser, and he was an yeah. adult. He come onto yeah. our wing, yeah, I and remember. he kept saying about the sass. He had a SAS yeah. soldier come in, like what lost his his toes and. Some up the North Pole or something, yeah. and he wasn't right, and he spent a lot of time in the in in, in the screws office three or four yeah. hours of daylight. I think he was an undercover old Bill or something, right? Yeah. But I, I, I was angry because they got him in and put yeah. him in the YP wing. I remember, and and, and he was a grass as yeah. he was cutting their hair. We'd chat to them and find out what was going on around the prison. Yeah. And I went down in front of the screws and smashed his... I shouldn't have smashed his cell out. <laughs> I, I didn't want him there. I, I, it was a grass. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was grassing everyone up, like. Yeah, you wrecked his cell in front of the whole screws and everyone. They didn't say anything to you, did they? No, because they knew he was a grass. It <laughs> probably worked for the old Bill. I don't care. Put him on another wing, but don't put him yeah. on a wing with the kids, like. You know what do, I mean? Do you remember when you punched that screw in the stomach because he tried to force you to do the... Um... Yeah, my mark goes out to him. I yeah, love you to pieces, mate. He, he, he uh, fell on the floor, bless him. He started yeah. crawling out. And they would, they were too scared to tell you that you were barred from the gym. They tried to get me to bar you from the gym, and I went, I'm not going to bar him from the gym. I said, do you know, you I can... <laughs> well, what happened when I first went to prison... I went to 1A, and there was a fight on 1A. They they went into a paedophile's fucking cell and, and put a, a cut his face in half, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But the point is they found that the bloke went a paedophile, so yeah. he's got a scar down his face. Wrong, wrong geezer. And the two blokes what done it, they're, they're probably getting yeah. an extra five or ten years bird, like. Yeah. But what I used to find out, the screws, like, you know what I mean? what one shouldn't be on the wings. And they used to tell him, don't come on the wings. 
and they used to bluff it like, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm in here for, for robbing a bank or something like that. They, they're yeah. dirty, filthy paedophiles, like. And Funny. I can remember I used to take you over to the wings, like. I used to say, stay there in a telly TV room. And I used to go over and talk to them, like. I said, look, mate, you can fuck off off the wing, like. Now yeah. I'm in here for this. I said, not you. You're not, mate. I said, I know what you're in here for now. I said, fuck off, like, you know what I mean? I said, you're not wanted here, like, you know what I mean? What you've done is Can disgusting, I... like. And I said, as soon as you go to court, and uh, and, and and I said, you won't be able to come back here, like, because no. you're going to get a guilty. Yeah. I'm going to know you've got a guilty, like. And I said, if I've got to come back up here, like, and they used to, they used to ghost themselves off and go back on the, 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 yeah, I couldn't, not, not, not the paedophiles, I couldn't can, get on. I didn't can I like, say one thing? Do you remember what you done on uh, Christmas Day, 1994? I'll be I everyone up with Santa Claus. This it is. So on, on Christmas Day, we, we were in Woodhill, 1994, and we're all standing, and all the prisoners are on the floor, and we heard, ho, 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 and we looked up, and Norman came out of his cell. I think you had a pillowcase as yeah. a beard. <laughs> he had a, he had a uh, big sack made out of a sheet, didn't you? With all full of... Uh, yeah. Yeah, duvets and all that, and he came out shouting "ho ho ho" and started it. Do you remember he started whacking it from with a sack? Can you, can you remember? I used to clean my floor with with metal wax or something like. Yeah. And when the screws used to open up the door, they said, "Leave Norman alone." And you yeah. used to run in there and skid over and fall over yeah. and in the cellar. That, that was so funny though, Christmas Day, because you had that sack full of like cushions and all that and pillows. I got all great. Right it, it was so funny. It was the funniest yeah. thing I've seen. Uh, I've got to give a shout out to Joe Allen boxing. How you doing? Joe Allen's a, a oh, young, a 14 year old from America. He's doing boxing. He loves you, Norman, as well, and he's supporting the channel. I love you all, mate. Whatever I can do for you and your team and all those yeah. beautiful people out there, Joe I Allen. can. I can say um, about the prison sentence the people that do the bird is your wife and your children and your family. Yeah. When you're in prison, I didn't find it so hard. Like, I was getting fed all the time and had my clothes washed and, uh, yeah. I had it easy in prison, like my poor family out there, they suffered, like you know what I mean. So, yeah, no good. Go prison, no good. Like. Keep, and if you, know, you do, like, and you got some demons in you, leave them in prison, like, yeah, it kicked off the oven. Like, I found myself on the arse, on the arse, like outside. Well, I landed on someone, I, I let him back up, and it carried on going, like, and I freaked from Woodhill, like, down the block there, like. I think my spirit's still down there, the wrong and like the fucking yeah. the, the evil nasty beast I left down there, like. Yeah. And I think he must have got out of his cell, like, because he was trying to get into my head, saying, "Go on, jump on his head, like." I was going, "No." Yeah. <laughs> you get demons, don't you? Yeah. Go, go yeah. back to Woodhill, God, go back, <laughs> go back to the block and fuck off, like. Yeah. You know what I mean? um, it, uh, a couple of right. questions, mate. Mank man, how you doing? Uh, Steve Whitehouse, what jails were we in? I only went to Woodhill and I got out. I did a bit of remand. I got out. Norman stayed in Woodhill. Mister, they sent me. Oh, you went to Grendel? Well. Yeah, you went to Bullen. Well, I think that's because they had trouble there. Um, but I didn't like Bista. It was uh, it, the, the, the wings were a bit smaller, like, and uh, yeah. I don't know why they sent me. They must have had a lot of trouble there. I remember I went into someone's cell, like, and he had some beautiful fruit bowl there. And I can say it now because, uh, you know what I mean, it's years ago and yeah. no one can look back into it. He, he, he had a pot of um, brown sugar and it was heroin-like, you know what I mean? Ah, right. So they must have had a real bad drug problem there. Yeah. But I didn't like the drugs, like, you know what I mean? No. As you know, like, I, I, no. I even told you, like, keep, don't, don't keep yeah. the fuck away from that shit, like... I was there, I'm, some people I know are drug dealers and I get along with them. I tolerate it, like, you know what yeah. I mean? But in the prison yeah. system, like, you know, I said to someone the other day from Hartlepool, there's someone what moved into Hartley. I said, why do you hate him so much? And why are you carrying a grudge, like? He said, because he brought heroin to Hartlepool, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the, the man ended up on yeah. heroin. Like, Not he, like, very, like, very evil, that drug. And, the, it, and the crack. It's, it's, There's a lot of evil out there. Um, and please, it, everyone out there, you know what heroin could do to you. You know what acid yeah. could do. You know what cocaine. So yeah. don't take it like. No, cut it drug, out. Give it away. Uh, we're going to do a few shout outs. Thank you, John Harrop. John Harrop sends his respect. Sean Murray. Yeah. Charlie Bronson won't be able to cope with the, with the world now. I, well, hopefully he'll get a chance. 
I was just thinking, Harry Roberts did uh, nearly 50 years, and he's managed to be right, but Harry's not the same as Charlie, I don't think. Um, he's a lot more calm and, and chilled out, but Charlie won't like being told what to do or anyone being rude. Um, Muay Thai... You know what Charlie, needs? Charlie needs his sister with him. Yeah, he needs his family around him. He needs him. his sister to look after him. Um, just going to do a couple more shout-outs. And beautiful Norm. people like you as well, Matt. Oh, thank Good you, people. Uh, so I think that's everyone we've done. Uh, Norman, it's been really great to have you on. We'll do it again, mate. We'll do a part two at some point. Guys, I love you all. Whatever I can tell you, however I can help you out there, like all yeah. over the world, like from my heart, I will. And I'll be honest and truthful, like the best thing that's ever happened to me, like is people like Matt, what have gone on to cherish life. And to become beautiful people, like what a lovely, you know. What, what more can you can you wish? My kids have yeah. turned out lovely. They haven't yeah. turned out like me. They've turned out good kids. My family, I'm so proud of them, and I really am. My daughters, and they've married into uh, uh, my, my my daughters are Muslim. Yeah. Uh, my children are Muslim. Uh, me, it was a risk when you know what I mean when they when years ago the mixed relationships, mixed marriages. Yeah. But I wasn't brought up with, with racism. Like no, anything, no like, prejudices, you know I mean? no nothing. I don't no. care what colour they are, no. what country they come to, what country they come from. There's good and bad in everyone. There's good and bad yes. in everyone. You can't ever you, judge. You, do you know, Do you know? there's always wars going on in this world. Russia and the other country now. Ukraine, yeah. But if the aliens come and, 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 and try to conquer the earth, the world should, would stick together. You yeah, know what I mean? Unite. They would go to war with each other. We unite and they would fight, but they've yeah. got to stick with we've, we've got to learn by the mistakes, the first world war, the second world war. Yeah. This has got to stop. It's got to stop. Yeah. It's Give a few, a few more shouts. Well said there, Norman, by the way. Humble dryer. Hope you're well, mate. Thank you. Motorsports. Well, I met family. Humble Dry, bless him. Yeah. Oh, he did, didn't you? Yeah. He you was on a, a Spartan, uh, yeah. a Spartan show. It was you a lovely, him. and he gave me some good tips. And I've yeah. taken the good tips to heart, like. Yeah. And uh, thanks for talking to me and thank him, you know, thanks for everything he told me, like, yeah. total respect to him, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I love everyone, like, good or bad, but he gave me some good tips and I've yeah. wised up and you've wised up to a few things as well, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Motorsport, motorsports buggies, how you doing? Um, bang, bang, Ray's on here again. Norman is oh, I love up. you, Ray. Ray, you're only 45 <laughs> years old now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I've got to tell him that because I uh, said he was yeah, 80. I know. He said I he was 80. come around here and beat the fuck out of me, right? <laughs> I used to grovel at him and I used to watch him like. He used to have a, he always used to have an hat on, like, like a jumper and that, like. Yeah. And uh, he, he was fantastic. I loved him the pieces. Yeah. I looked up to him. He yeah. was like, well, he was like the governor. He was like Lenny McLean, yeah. Boy Shore up in London. Well, he was, he was in the mix. Him, like, he was you know in the mix I mean? with all them. He was in the mix with all them. Lads, he was, he? yeah, he was throwing the old body shots and this guy, yeah. you know who he is. Like, I can't yeah. remember all the stories, like, but um, they said he'd fight anyone, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, he would. So yeah. He was the first. My my granddad, uh, um, Bucky Buckland, Alfie Buckland, used to fight up Barnet Fair. And he used to be like the governor up there. That's yeah. where I thought the governors come from. Yeah. For my family, like, but I think it was Roy uh, Lenny McLean what what really give it in the ring. I'm the governor and everything, yeah. like, because they 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 got a film out and they said his dad used to call himself the fucking governor or something. That 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 come from me. Well, I used to call myself that. Yeah, because I used to cherish them, but call call them the governors. But you can call me the effing governor. I don't mind. <laughs> Norm, we've but, got to um, give a shout out to Joyce Talks Boxer. You know my mate Willie Joyce from the Oxford Joyces. Hey, you this is total respect. I'd love to meet him. Shout out to Willie. Jo yeah, you know they've invited us down there for. Yeah, I cherish them. Christmas. Total respect to them and uh, their family. Thank you, Willie, for the invite. I'll bring Norman with me. I think it's a christening next month. And if they ever come after me, like I'm fucking on my jacks, mate. Like, but shout hey, out to Willie. The governor Willie. will be on his toes down the yeah. road. That's Joyce yeah. Talks Boxing I Podcast. Find none of them. Joy Joyce Talks Boxing Podcast. So check that one out. So yeah, we're going to wrap it up, Norman. Thanks for coming on, and thank you to everyone in the, in the chat as well. And apologies for if I missed anyone out, but we'll get Norman on again in, in a month or two months for another one. Uh, thank you, everyone, and thank you, Norman. Hey, listen, and listen, once I have this operation, hopefully 
we've, we've, we've got the barn down there. We've got a big 23-foot ring light. Yeah. Maybe we can have a bit of sparring down yeah. there. The boys can come down there. You can do a few interviews down there. We always, uh, my heart goes out to um, Ponyfield, the, the gypsy site down Western Turbul. I love you to pieces. Yeah. Uh, Paddy Duran and his family and all the rest of the travellers down there. When I used to go to work, my kids used to go there. They used to feed my kids. They used to look after my kids. Yeah. Total love to them. Thank you very much. Obviously, I, I, I'm busy now. I can't go down there and thank them like. But to the travellers out there, what have looked after my children in the past, you know what I mean? And they're, they're, they have. My kid used, my daughter used to disappear when she was a kid. I said, where you been? She's going up London. You should jump the trains. All over yeah. London, like. Yeah. And uh, I said, who's you with, like? She said, the travellers. I said, that's all right, then. You're with the travellers. <laughs> yeah. She used to stay over there yeah. in a gypsy camp and everything. Yeah. And my heart goes out to them, like, you go down there in their caravans, a beautiful life, you know? Yeah. Lovely well, people. Thank you, Norman. Thank you, Kevin Blewett. Thank you, mate. Uh, that'll be it. So I'm going to sign off and we'll catch up again soon, Norman. Thank you, everyone. Hey, listen, everyone out there, I love you all. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you for giving me a little bit of a time to talk to you. Like, I do yeah. rabbit a lot, but I do love you all. <laughs> yeah. Love you all as well. Thank you, Norman. All the best, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Do I turn it off? I turn it off. Yeah, yeah, turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>